in this video, we are at Normans Bay on the south coast in East Sussex. Yes, at the Camping and Caravanning Club site, which is called Normans Bay. Normans Bay, yeah. What we've seen so far of Normans Bay is the beach is made up of these stones, a sort of like Chesil Beach, uh, except for the fact I found a bit of sand, look. Not much, but it is sand. Cast your mind back to 1066. That was this morning, breakfast. Well, uh, 1066 is the Battle of Hastings, right? Yes. And uh, old William the Conqueror. Yeah. He sailed 700 ships to this point here. How do you know that? Were uh, you there? Yeah, I was there. And uh, he invaded England, mm -hmm. uh, beating King Harold. Now, King Harold had just had a big old combat and he, um, he won that. Yes. Like days before... William the Conqueror landed his, his troops from Normandy and uh, Normans Bay is where he landed. Uh, just, up the, just up the coast here is mm. Poosley, is that how you put Pevensley. Peven yeah. Pevensley. There is a castle there which I don't mm. mind, you know me and castles, I do like a bit of history. It's an English heritage site isn't it? Yeah that's right and uh, that's where they believe he set up camp, fortified that location. It was an old Roman uh, fort, apparently. Mm. But yeah, so this is the place where England got invaded by the Normans. Right, so this stretch of water here is the English Channel. And of course, way over there, which we can't see, is France. Now, but on the horizon, I can see what looks like a, it's like a T-shape. If you just glance at it, it looks like a windmill, but it's a, some sort of T-shape. Looking it up on the map, it is the Royal Sovereign Lighthouse. A lighthouse all the way over there. It looks incredible as well on the pictures. Very strange looking lighthouse, don't you think? So look at that. Sand. So it appears that when the tide goes out, it reveals all the sand. Excuse me a moment. Frisbee, this is Clarence. You want this then, Clarence, do you? Should we go and throw it again? Oh, that was a lousy one. Loads of shells and stones on this beach, but uh, you just found something else. Yeah. Show them what you found. Now, if anybody's lost... We're rich, everybody. If anybody's lost a five pound note... No, no, no. It's still a bit wet, though. Has it just been printed? Please contact me at this address. <laughs> If this is your fiver, put a comment in the in the, uh, in the comment section. And also, you've got we to. We want to know. You've got to describe it. <laughs> you've got to prove that you were here. <laughs> right. So let's have a quick tour of the campsite. So this is the coastal road. That way goes to the train station, Normans Bay train station, and uh, this way goes to Peversley. <coughs> now this is the way you want to come in from Peversley, not. Normans Bay uh, and then you want to turn left into the entrance just there so right next to the car park is the reception there's your facility block with obviously the toilets and the uh, the laundry and the washing up plenty of glamping tents and being a bank holiday it is really busy this weekend running alongside the campsite is a train line um, the trains are quite frequent but you hardly hear them slow and fast trains and of course they have the motorhome service point and this is where we've pitched up with uh, Chaz there right next door to the exit so what do you think of the campsite Normans Bay Camping mm. and Caravanning Club well the location is fantastic isn't it I mean yeah. <clears throat> you've got like 10 steps and you're at the beach very close very to the nice beach. yes and then it's kind of Easy access to Eastbourne, isn't it? And Brighton and... Yes. You know, so the location you can't really fault. The campsite... Um... 
I'm, I'm lost for I words. don't think there's anything wrong with the campsite. <laughs> no. I just think our experience this weekend is a bank holiday. It's busy. It's very busy. They all seem to be all jammed in here. You say that, though, because we were over the other side and I thought, I can't stay there. Yeah. Can we move? So we've moved over here where there's hardly anyone. You know, it's kind yeah. of like they haven't really organised it properly. Yeah. The facilities are good, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, um, fine. Can't fault those. So out of five oh, Hermans, no. what are you going to give it? And then we haven't agreed this just yet. So this is a... I'm, th I'm, I'm, again, it's about experience for me. It's probably a, probably a three. I mean, it's just a typical camping and caravanning club site, really. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think three. Right, there you go. Three out of five. Hermans, there you go. Today, we're going to be visiting this place. This is Pevensey Castle. This is where old William the Conqueror, the Duke of Normandy, set up his uh, base of operations, I suppose you could say. And it was an old Roman fort, but he, uh, he made it a bit better and uh, constructed some better defences. Take a look around. So we're inside the castle now, uh, it's run by English Heritage, so if you remember you get in for free, but if you're not it's 8 70 per adult, but you get one of these for free, a little audio device, so you can listen in to all the uh, history. <laughs> She's there, huh? Hello, right. Wow. That's quite amazing, isn't it? I mean, goodness, you've got plants growing. It was just like, you know, we normally have window boxes and whatever. They've just got a lot of deco, you know? It's not quite the same. I like what they've done with the wallpaper. Yeah. Pevensey Castle, what did you think of that? Did you enjoy that? I thought it was better than it, you know, I imagined it to be. Because when it said it was £8.70 each, I thought, oh, we're just going to be looking at a, some rubble or some stones. Well, it is rubble and yeah, some stones. <laughs> it is, but then you get the audio, don't you? Yeah, and that you was... go round and it mm. explains what happened in each room. And I, got, I thought it got a bit complicated at one point. It did. Number six. But uh, they've got uh, two exhibitions, haven't they, where you can walk around and read some of the, uh, yes. the plaques and stuff yeah. and look at some ancient I found it a bit complicated because there were so many people, weren't yeah. there, you know, married to Very so, so. convoluted you history. Ask, you ask me a question and then you, you're getting involved. Thanks, you lot. So do you want to answer it then? I'll, I'll edit that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> In, in um, one word, very good. Or two words. <laughs> <laughs> and they've also got a math class in there as well. <laughs> well. They have a car park here. It's just a few quid for the whole day. Or, just here, is bays for motorhomes and coaches. Welcome to Eastbourne, everybody. Standing on the pier at the moment. What do you think of the view? I'll tell you what, let's go around to the other side and see what that looks like as well. That looks amazing. You've got a ferris wheel all the way though, over there. Uh, and all along the seafront here is a market. I don't know if it's on every day though. Well, we've done the circle of the pier. Yeah. And a bit disappointing really. There's a few shops and uh, there's well, a tea room here. It's the usual things, isn't the arcades? Yeah. The oh, and the, at the moment they were just about to start playing live music at the very end. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold as well, lads. Well, that'd be the weather. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to be moving on now. Yes. Let us know if you've been to Norman's <laughs> Bay Camping and Caravan Club, whether or not you've been here and you agree with us. Give us your comment in the video description. No, in the comment section, not the video description. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Ow! <laughs> been beaten up by Herman. Mm, you know.